Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were discussing uh, Nick Saban's insights on name, image, and likeness in the college football evolution. And now, as always on Fridays, we're going to dive into our dating horror stories. Tate is very excited. I think Tate loves Fridays just of, because of these. <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay, so I found these on a, um, I think it's Casual Ireland subreddit. So all of these stories are based in Ireland. Um, so okay. some of the, the words might be a little different. <laughs> Let me tell you something, though, before we even mm -hmm. get into this. Yes. The Irish are my peeps. They are awesome people. <laughs> They're some of the nicest people you would ever meet. I didn't know any Irish until I moved to Por uh, Portugal. Mm -hmm. I got stranded uh, about in sept September, October. I got stranded in Dublin, Ireland for two days uh, mm -hmm. uh, at the airport. And yeah, you know, I met a bunch of people then. But then on my flight back, it was weird. Everybody, it was, it was like a little party. <laughs> people were singing and, and sharing snacks and everything on the plane. And I'm like, what kind of flight is this? <laughs> the Irish people are unreal. Yeah. Super sweet people. Awesome. I am actually, um, I like Irish from Irish descent. My parents went to Ireland, I think two years ago, and they loved it. And they loved the Irish people. They agree that they are they are really cool and really nice. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful people. I mean, they really are. I, I would beautiful country, amazingly amazing and nice people. Mm -hmm. I, I would recommend Ireland for anyone. Yeah. All right. So our first one. I uh, met a guy uh, on Tinder a few years ago. He was really handsome, and we got chatting, and he seemed genuinely nice and funny. He asked me to go on a date, and said we would get food the day comes and he drives an hour to collect me he's even more handsome in person and the chat flows and i'm thinking man he's great uh tells me his friends are having a barbecue and we could stop in for a second this was my first time meeting him and i kind of didn't want to meet his friends yet but i agreed and let him uh bring me to the barbecue we got to a lovely house and it's full to the brim with people he introduces me to loads of people and next thing i know i'm talking to his uh ma'am and nanny which mom and grandma i believe while he's off oh. drinking uh, with his friends and I'm told this is his sister's engagement party and this guy I barely knew decided to bring me as a date I met his entire family parents sibling grandparents aunts uncles cousins and friends the for the first time I met him we all went to the local pub where his nanny ended up having a coyote ugly moment on the bar to a band singing zombie by the cranberries and at the end of the night this guy is now too drunk to drive an hour drive me an hour home tells me he loves me and he's never felt like this about anyone then proceeds to oh. vomit on my shoes oh and his ex-girlfriend <laughs> and his ex-girlfriend was there and kept calling me a home wrecker this guy was 29 Ooh. and I was around 20. Honestly, weirdest night of my life. I ended up getting a mate to come collect me. I deleted Tinder and have never spoken to the guy again. <laughs> mm. There's mm. some things to unpack here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I didn't have a problem with him bringing a date to the wedding. Right. How about a little heads up? Yeah, hey, I feel Becky, like he should have told her. Yeah, this sure. is my sister's. This is my sister's wedding. You can't be playing it like, hey, some people I know is having a barbecue. My friends, my friends are having. Yeah, a my friends are having a barbecue. <laughs> right off the top, if you gotta lie to get a date to your your sister's wedding, yeah. you're doing it all wrong already. <laughs> Am I right? Because you're I'm right. a little, yeah. I'm a little upset if I. If I go on a date mm -hmm. and a girl is like, oh yeah, do you mind if we stop in? I have a friend of mine that's having a barbecue. Mm -hmm. And it turns out it's her brother's wedding, mama there, grandma <laughs> there, Aunt Beatrice is there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, no, I'm I'm upset about this. 
it's how he did it. Yeah. It's the, you know, you don't want to, if a guy's going to start off with a little white lie right off the top. Mm -mm. Red flag. Yes. <laughs> I need to you know, if you're going to start off with a, just a little, little, you know, you can't do that. Just be like, listen, my sister is getting married. The, it's a blast. My sister, they're at the reception, the wedding, everything's mm -hmm. a blast. Why don't you come along as my date? Then you already have heads up. Yes. Then when a, when an old girl comes stepping to you and calling you a home wrecker, you hit her with that three piece hot and spicy and keep on partying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but when you're not prepared, you're not yeah. prepared. And you're over there. Next thing you know, because I wouldn't be happy about this if I show up at a I'm at a party and mom is there, mm -hmm. dad is there, mm -hmm. grandma is. Is, is twerking on the bar. <laughs> you know? I, I'm not prepared for that. Uh, I can't. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing grandma twerk on the bar. Mm -hmm. And okay, Faith, here's another question. Yes. Did you even understand the whole concept of Coyote Ugly? No, I knew. I knew what it meant. Okay. I Because that, <laughs> that movie is so old. I'm like. I haven't seen it, but I understand I'm what like, the phrase you, means. So You were like a zygote when uh, when that movie <laughs> came out. So I'm like, I don't even know if you know what Coyote uh, Ugly is. Granny was getting down with it. She was having a good old time. And honestly, so, I would have supported it. I would have been like, you go, Granny. <laughs> but you, can, you can't have. Okay. If you're going to be there, you're going to mm -hmm. bring a date. One, you got to let the date know, hey, this is my sister's wedding. Mm -hmm. Number two, my ex is going to be there. I don't want her there, mm -hmm. but, you know, my sister and her are real tight, so they invited her. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, because she gets a little drunk, she starts hitting that henny, that she knows she wants, <laughs> she wants to fight. <laughs> she wants to call you a home wrecker. So... You know what's going on mm -hmm. before, you know, things start getting out of hand. Yeah. You know, you see you see the ex and she's on her third or fourth glass of Hennessy. Mm -mm. It's time to get your get anybody your on anybody on <laughs> Hennessy. Is, uh, <laughs> I've never met a, a person who's had Hennessy and is nice after drinking Hennessy. <laughs> You know, uh, right, you see, was crafted by the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this woman. This is this is a, com a a quick commercial break here as far as this one goes. <laughs> one time, I was at this. I was at a grocery store. This is when I was living in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I ran into some this nice black lady, and she was in the ice cream aisle. Mm -hmm. And somehow we struck up a conversation. And she was talking about how she, she's been on a diet and all this stuff, but and she's how the doctor's been getting on her. But she's like, she don't care what he's doing. She got to have her H and H every night. And I'm like, every night. Oh and my I'm like, god. Well, I'm like, <laughs> what is H and H? And she's like, Hennessy and Hagen Dazs. <laughs> so she gets oh. her H and H on every night. Hennessy and, and every she, night. That's Henny, H and H, Hennessy and Hagen Dazs. So she's doing Hennessy Hen floats. <laughs> Hagen Dazs oh, isn't even that good. Pick a different ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I can't picture no Hennessy float. That that always stuck in my head. So <laughs> now, <laughs> I've had Hennessy one time. That is one of the most disgusting liquors I have ever had. And I don't know how people just throw it back like it's nothing. You were missing a scoop of Hagen dazs That's why. You didn't get that. You need the, the, the Hagen dazs cuts the henny. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. But yeah, this whole back to the original story. He slipped up many a time there. And then, whoa. And then he got drunk, threw Too up drunk on her stuff yeah. and, and left her there. 
Mm-hmm. That would that is a disaster. Don't blame um uh what was the the dating app she was on? Tinder. Tinder. Don't they da- don't they da- blame Ooh. Tinder? <laughs> you know, do not blame Tinder. Ooh, I don't know. I've I've been on Tinder and the the pickings you get from Tinder are not great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I got another. I got a. I got a tender story for you. Then I'm gonna. So I'm gonna throw a quick tender story in there. Mm. So when I this is something that happened recently in the last two years. Mm-hmm. So now you gotta remember, I'm married. <laughs> so make sure I'm. This is part of the lead-in. So when we first got to Europe, I I was at a store and I met this lady, and. She was, I think she was from the U.S. as well. She's like, oh, I love it here. And she was like, I have so many friends. I'm like, how'd you meet so many people so fast? And she was like, Tinder here has this uh, platonic section where you can Mm -hmm. put in and you can put in, you just want friends. And I met all my friends through the platonic section. Hmm. So I'm like, really? Interesting. So I run it past the wife. Mm-hmm. I run it past wifey. And uh, we look at it like, okay, it looks legit. So I'm like, American just moved to Portugal, happily married, only looking for friends. Mm-hmm. It was DM Central. <laughs> People were people were dropping dropping in, giving. Nobody wanted to be Tate's friend. Every you. I could have told you that. I could have told you that. Whoa! <laughs> I was all Mister. I was all Mister Innocent. I sit down with the wifey. Let's see who we have today. Oh my Bam. god! Bam! Oh, I'm like, oh hell! <laughs> I could have told you that. I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah. I had to get rid of my account. So, there with it is. This, with this story, though, I agree. He he should have just been honest and was like, hey, I need a date for my sister's engagement party. Can you come with me? Are you comfortable yes. with that? My entire family is going to be there. But they're, they're great to hang out with, obviously, because Granny can get down and party on top of the, the bar. Um, so, I mean... If you would have been honest, everything would have been fine. You could have prepared. You could have Ubered. You could have done this. You could have done that. Lined up a drive home. Everything like that. Or you could have said no. And he could have found somebody else. Because I'm sure but, mm-mm, mm-mm. somebody. I, I'm going to stop you. I don't think he was. I don't think he. Listen, if you are at the point where the only option you have is to lie to a girl that you met on Tinder and trick her to come to that wedding. Mm -hmm. So you have a date at that wedding. You don't, he don't have, he don't have a lot of game. (laughs) He don't have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. And so if he had to lie to you to get you there, chances are you were his only hope. Do you see that? I guess. Yeah. But I mean, he could have just gone by himself. (laughs) <laughs> his but ex-girlfriend had, was there and calling her a homewrecker so i'm sure the ex-girlfriend becky was there though you know he, <laughs> and that's the thing he probably didn't want to go by himself knowing that his ex was there i think mm-hmm. that's what it was he Damn. wanted some eye candy on his arm because <laughs> the ex was there yeah I guess <laughs> right. but and honesty is the best policy guys don't lie to your dates don't no, you lie shouldn't. to your dates. <laughs> if you have to lie, then you're missing something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm I'm brutally honest with with my dates. Back, you know, I'm I'm retired now. <laughs> Was you were you were brutally honest with your dates? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, you got to be honest. You and then you'd be surprised the things you can you can be honest about and people will be like right. they're cool with it they just appreciate I, the fact that you are honest i enjoy an honest man i like be an careful honest careful what man. you wish for <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm too honest sometimes. <sighs> Gosh. So, All okay. right, guys. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have some more dating horror stories for you. So make sure you stick around. <laughs> 